guys, welcome back. So I am back. Ah! And I am doing a tutorial for you guys. This is the look that I came up with. It is a talk through, so it might be just a couple minutes longer than I normally would do. But it's okay. <clears throat> this is the look that I came up with. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. So this is it. These are the eyes. They're really, really neutral in color. They are a lot smokier and a lot sultrier. But I figured, why not? And looking at myself right now, I'm seeing that I missed something that I didn't do in the tutorial. It's bothering me. So I'm going to do it with you guys real quick. So that's all good. I am taking a little bit of, I'll tell you guys right now, because obviously I didn't tell you in the tutorial. Taking a little bit of Max Rice Paper, which is a nice pale, which is a nice pale yellow highlight in the Real Technique Accent Brush. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eyeball. And we are all done. So, yeah, that's the look I came up with. I don't want the intro to be 10,000 hours long, so that is it i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys like these kind of videos let me know if you guys do or not that way if you guys don't i can do what you guys do like and i don't waste my time so i hope you guys enjoy and if you want to learn how to get this look then keep on watching i guess Okay, so I already have my eye primed. I used Max. Sorry. Okay, so I already have my eye primed. I used Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NW. I don't even know if you can see that, but NW20. And I chose a lighter um, eyeshadow base so the colors can kind of pop a little bit more. So for our first color, we're going to go in with Max texture which is just a really pretty it has a little bit of shimmer to it it's just a really really pretty warm brown golden ish color it's really pretty and I'm going in with my Sigma E40 I'm gonna pick some up top off the excess and I'm gonna throw that oh you know what I forgot something I lied okay so so sorry I completely forgot a step so I have to find it. But I'm just taking a piece of scotch tape, sticking it on the back of my hand so most of the stickiness comes off. And I'm gonna stick it from the, right where my lash line starts, or kind of where it ends actually. And I'm gonna stick it kind of going up towards my brow bone. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us this nice crisp line that we have on this side. So now that I have that, now we're going to go in with texture and we're just going to run this all in the crease. This is our transition color. So this color is going to really help blend out all the other colors that we're going to put on. So there's no, no particular way to put this color on, just kind of go in and blend it all you don't want to go all the way up to your brow bone. You want that nice gauge to the highlight under your brow bone. So now that we have that color on, you want to kind of pull it out onto the tape too. The tape trick is kind of cool because you don't have to worry about like being all neat right here, you just kind of put on your eyeshadow. And the next color that we are going in with is Max Saddle. Yeah, Max Saddle, which is just another warm brown color. We're going to still be using our Sigma E40. And I'm not going to go right on top of the texture that we just put on. I'm going to go right below it. 
it's gonna overlap, but that's what you want in blending. It's kind of the key to blending if you're kind of having colors overlap. That way you can't tell where one ends and one begins. So I'm just turning it all in the crease. So that's what we should have so far. And I'm gonna kind of go into the inner corner too. Now normally I wouldn't do the eye, I mean I, I do do my eyes like this but on an everyday basis you guys see how I do my eyes, they're really really light. Um, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do things up a little bit more today. So what is next? So now we are going to take our MAC 217 which is just our tapered brush. And I'm going in with, wow, these are all matte shadows that you're going to Max Embarked, which is, oops, throw it. Which is just a really dark brown purplish color. I'm going to kind of tap my brush and uh, tap the excess off. And, and I'm just going to kind of start right here where the tape is on the outer corner. And kind of just give it a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Sigma E40 and just kind of blend all those colors together. So we have a nice blended look. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Carbon, which is just a matte black. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outer corner and kind of start dragging it in. And then go back to our 217. Kind of. Just blend it all out. And as you can see, we are wearing winged alignment today. So that is what's next. I'm using, of course, my tried and true Max Chroma Chroma Line eyeliner and black black. I always want to, I always want to say chromographic. I don't know why. But it's the MAC Chroma Line in Black Black, just a regular black gel liner. And I do like to keep the tape on for this because it kind of is that guide to get you that nice straight liner. So, you see if I can stay in frame while doing this. So I'm just going to kind of draw along the tape where I want the liner and then from there just drag it in and I'm going to stop right there because I can't believe I forgot something else I forgot the lid color so I have just like a wet like a wet towel right here in my MAC 242. I'm just going to run the, the brush back and forth on the towel to get it kind of damp. And then I'm going in with MAC, um, all the glitters, sorry. It's just a really, really pretty gold. And getting your brush damp, what that does is just intensifies that shimmeriness. So like I said, this is just gonna go on the inner part of the eye. We're going to keep it underneath all that dark color we put in the crease. And I'm dabbing and I'm not really swiping, I'm just kind of pressing it onto the lid. And there you go. I'm just going to get our 217 and kind of just about out the edge. 
measurement just like that. Now we're gonna finish our liner. Uh, like I said, the tape kind of just acts as a really nice guide. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma Small Angled E65. Sorry if I'm not talking. Eyeliners, I don't know why. I feel like it's one of those things I just can't talk when I'm doing. Thumbs up this video if you guys want like an eyeliner root or like an eyeliner tutorial, how I do my eyeliner when I do wear it. And I can give you guys a couple tips and tricks. So our liner is not going to be that crazy, that's actually it. So now all that there is left to do is gently the tape off and we have that nice crisp, crisp line okay so let's move on to the rest of the face shall we okay so we have both of the eyes done I'm gonna put my lashes on last because I am wearing lashes but we are going to do our face okay so now on to the face now that the eyes are done I'm gonna do my lashes last. I don't wanna put them on right now. <laughs> um, but first, because we are gonna be using the liquid lipstick, uh, and it is matte, so I do wanna give my lips a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna be using the Burt's Bees Nourishing Lip Balm. Put a little bit of that on. And then the foundation that I'm going to be using today is my Makeup Forever HD. Give this a good shake. The brush that I'm going to be using it with is my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. So we're going to start out by priming. I am using, I'm obsessed with it ever since I got it. I'm just like, I gotta use it. So, just going to. Put a little bit of that on. I have moisturized. As always, I use the Max Moisture Infusion Serum. Um, this is my favorite moisturizer of all time. But we have our primer on. I'm going in with our foundation. And I'm just going to pump a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with our brush. And I just dab it in the foundation and just start applying it and more pumps and I'm trying not to swipe my brush I'm trying to really press the foundation into my skin Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to be using my NARS Creamy Radiant, or Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. So, I do like to use my concealer as a highlight as well. Do not be alarmed. It's all good. Put a little down the bridge of my nose. Center of my forehead. And my husband, when he sees me do my makeup, I love to cause him my worry. So I looked everywhere for my beauty blender, I cannot find it, that's what I would use to blend this out. 
but I have my matte crayon sponge. So I have my matte crayon sponge. What I'm gonna do is just tap all this out. And to keep your eyeshadow, or your eyeshadow, your concealer from creasing even more, what I do is my last step is I go from the outer corner in. So if you make that your last step in blending out your concealer, it will not crease on you. So on to the other eye. Like I'm bouncing my elbow. <laughs> And then the reason I did this was because we don't want this to be all bright and everything else be like not highlighted. So this just kind of balances it out and actually I'm going to switch uh, tools. I'm going to grab my foundation brush again and I'm going to use that to blend out the rest. So it kind of tones it down just a little bit more and it's not so harsh because I do want the majority of the highlight to be under my eyes. So there is my highlight. So now I am taking my Sigma E or Sigma F35 actually and still broken. <laughs> I gotta I gotta do something about that because this is like my, my favorite brush. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of soft focus and emphasize by MAC. They are shaping powders. Tap off the excess and I'm gonna Go right on top of where we just laid. And this kind of tones it down just a little bit because the soft focus it has a yellow tone. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference, but the sides tone down just a little bit. That's done. Now we're gonna bronze up the face a little bit. I am using my, can you guess it? MAC um, Refined Golden and my Real Technique Blush Brush. To give a little bit of definition to the face. And for blush, I am going to be using, I'm not going to use the same brush today. Today, I think I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use my Sigma, I've never used it for blush, we're going to see how it works. My Sigma Tapered F86 Kabuki brush. And I think I'm going to go in with Melba. Melba. Not bad. I like doing that. I like, I've never used a brush for something. I like kind of just seeing how it would work. Then you can always take your blending brush and blend it out. Mm, it did okay. I don't know if I'll use it again though. Okay. So now that that's done. Ooh, 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 ooh. Time for lips, though. So. Just gonna wipe off. Okay. Moisturizer. 
And we're going in with the star of the show. This is Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Jeffrey. It's such a gorgeous color. Such a gorgeous color. Whoops, just realized that was out of frame. Sorry. Now for some of you, this this may be a little much, but I really, really like it. So now, mascara time. I'm using uh, Max Studio Sculpt Super Black Lash, as always. And my eyes have been really irritated, so I definitely would put lashes on. Um, I think a nice full feathery pair of lashes with this would look amazing. My eyes just can't handle them right now though. So I'm just going to wash my face after this anyways. So I don't think I'm going to waste a pair of lashes right now. But feel free. I'm going to clean up a little mess that I need. And then for the lower lash line to define it a little bit, I'm going to take our saddle color on just a flat definer brush and I'm going to run it along that lower lash line. I am going to go in with Max Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20. This is a pro product. <clears throat> you can buy it in their pro stores or online. So that I'm just going to run in the lower one. And that is it. Here they are. Now this look would look amazing with some lashes, but like I said, my eyes have been really irritated lately. I don't know what it is, so. I really like how it came out. Oh, I'm so in love with this lip color. So this is it. I know it may be a little much for some of you guys. But I like it, and I'm not the type of person that likes like the heavy eyes. Now, they're not super colorful. They are dark. They are a lot sold like a lot more sultry and smoky than I normally do. But gotta step out your comfort zone every once in a while, or you will never grow as an individual or an artist. So that's the look that I came up with for you guys.
I hope you guys enjoy and like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And thank you so much for coming back. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, dolls.